Hey guys, so I get a ton of questions on what hair care products I'm using, what did I use in my hair in this video and that video, what are my favorites. Um, yeah, so I figured that I would just do a compilation video of all the hair care products that I have and that would make it easier because I can't always remember what styling cream or conditioner or whatever I use in my hair when I post a video, especially um, yeah, yeah, I just, no, I <laughs> can't remember. So I'm just going to show you the shampoos I use, conditioners I use, um, the moisturizers, stylers, deep conditioners, and then the products that I use on my hair when it's straight because it's hardly anything. And I might as well just include that in this too, okay? Um, so it might be kind of a long video, but hopefully it'll answer a bunch of questions, give you some insight, maybe some products you've never tried before. Maybe you guys can tell me how I can get better results with products or what your favorite products are also, okay? So the first thing I'll talk about are shampoos. And I don't have very many. Um, I'm not picky when it comes to shampoo. I, until recently, did not really care to use um, sulfate-free shampoos, but I found one that works for me. And these are the Nature's Gate shampoos. Um, the first one here is Tea Tree, which this one is just for um, like flaky scalp, and it's supposed to calm and soothe. Um, so I get product buildup and then like dandruff rather easily and quickly. So this one I like because it soothes your scalp whenever it's feeling like extremely itchy after about like the fourth or fifth day of having not washed it um so i'll use this one and it just smells like tea tree which is that really like minty clean fresh um fresh smell so i really like these they are sulfate free but they do lather which i really like because it's just something about the lather that makes me feel that it's getting my hair extra clean um, and it's cruelty free and vegan free and it don't test on animals. Yeah. And this shampoo is about six to eight dollars. Um, and you get a decent amount. There's 18 fluid ounces in here. So I think that's pretty good for like a natural, um, a mostly natural product, especially being sulfate free. The other one I have here is pomegranate sunflower. And this one is actually for color enhanced hair to prevent it from fading but I just love the smell of it so that's why I got it not to mention um this one I got on clearance at Walmart for like 350 so it was like half off and I've noticed the last time I was in Target they had Nature's Gate for clearance and all of the Nature's Gate was clearance when I got this one so I don't know if they're like discontinuing it um I really hope not but I do know that they sell it at a natural like organic food slash supply whatever store um near where i live so i guess i could get it there but that kind of stinks because they always discontinue stuff that you really like to use right and then as a clarifying shampoo i probably use one like maybe once every three or four weeks just to get out any extra buildup. and i just i'm not picky at all i use um currently the herbal essences hello hydration which I like herbal essences just because their products smell amazing. Um, but this one's supposed to have Hawaiian coconut and um, orchid in it. And hello hydration. So this would be um, good for if you have dry hair, which curly hair tends to be dry. But I just use this to clarify probably, like I said, like once every three weeks or four weeks. Okay, so for conditioners, I'll start with... Um, what I use as like just detangling conditioners that I don't leave in, I rinse these out. So the first one here is the Aussie Moist. And I like this one because Aussie is um, fairly cheap. This bottle is probably like $5 and it's massive. It's uh, 29 fluid ounces. And I love that it has a pump. And it, Aussie products smell really good too. They smell really clean. But I will say that this sucks at detangling. Like, I have to use so much to detangle my hair. The Aussie, um, I forget what the other Aussie conditioner I had before. This one, it wasn't the moist. It was, oh, I can't remember the name of it. It worked so much better at detangling. But this one sucks at detangling. So, I use this if I, like, forget to bring the other conditioner in the, um, 
the shower with me and then two recent ones that I picked up which a subscriber told me about and I can't remember your name but thank you um, are the VO5 and the suave conditioners because these are like 79 and like 84 cents like ridiculously cheap I think this one's like 79 and this one's a little bit over dollar just because it was like a lot bigger um, so for the suave this one's 30 ounces so it's actually more than this one it doesn't look as big but um and it was like a dollar and a half like really cheap and I got coconut just because I love the smell of coconut but I don't care for this one too much as a detangler because it doesn't detangle very well for me either um I have to use a lot more of this one to get my hair to detangle easier um so that's kind of stinky but it's only a dollar and a half so you pay for what you get However, the VO5 one is really, really good. This is probably like my favorite, really, you know, my favorite cheaper detangler. And this one's just passion fruit, but it smells amazing. Um, and this one is extremely runny. Like, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's really loose. But it gives me a lot of slip. And that probably, maybe it has something to do with like how um, thin it is. And I'd say these are... The suave one and the um, Aussie one are a much thicker texture, but they don't give me as much slip. Now, as far as leave-in conditioners, the first one I'll talk about is another Aussie product. This is the Hair Insurance, which I don't use this quite as much anymore as I used to. This used to be like my favorite leave-in conditioner. I use this mostly now if I'm like at the beach and my hair gets wet and I just don't want it to be extremely parched from like chlorine or you know just dry or whatever I'll just spray this all over it and sometimes I use this if I'm like in a, a huge rush I use this to refresh my curls in the morning like when I showed you in my um, nighttime routine and morning routine I'll just spray this on the areas that need like some replenishment and it works pretty well and then my favorite leave-in which I've included in a um, favorites video is the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner. So this is, you can see, it's kind of thick. It's not as thick as the Suave one, I'd say. But this has amazing slip on it. Like, that's where they put magic in here. Um, it's mostly natural, but they're cruelty-free also and don't test on animals. And it smells amazing. I just spilled it all over my pants girl anyway so before I like spill that in my lap um my only gripe is that this is an expensive product this is $11 for 8 ounces and they sell a 32 ounce which one of my subscribers told me so thank you for telling me that but it's $44 $44 oh my goodness ridiculous um so I don't use this very often if I want, like, if I'm doing my hair all over, like, I'm going to wash it and then style it, I'll use this as a leave-in. But I don't use this to, like, co-wash my hair because it would be gone in, like, a week. I would use um, the Suave or the, the VO5 to, like, co-wash my hair, okay? Alrighty. So next, I'll talk about some moisturizers I have. I guess one that kind of goes in the leave-in conditioner slash moisturizer category is the Cantu Shea Butter and this is a really popular product. It's just a leave-in conditioning treatment. Some people don't want to use this because it's not extremely natural. There are a lot of, I guess you could say, synthetic products in it. I don't really care. My hair is not very picky, I don't think, and I think it actually really likes this. You get a ton of products. So it's 16 ounces and I think this is like, what, four, five, six dollars or something? And it smells really good, like really good. And this gives me um, really good slip also. And my hair likes this. It just feels really moisturizing. I don't get product buildup. It doesn't like flake off in my hair. It leaves my hair really soft. Um, so I really like using this. And I swear I've used it like 20 million times and I still have like an entire jar. So that's really good. That a little goes a long way. Um, another moisturizer that I like is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and this one's like organic coconut and hibiscus it has silk protein um, a bunch of goodies like and I guess neem oil I'm 
think that's how you pronounce it, I guess. Um, but it's for thick curly hair, so it's giving you moisture, body, and shine. This one smells really good also. Not as good as the shea butter. That one smells like more natural, more fruity. But I do like the smell of this. Um, if you can see it there, it's a little bit thicker, I would say, than the, the sh Cantu Shea Butter. And this one's, you can see the consistency of it there. Just a little sticky. Not much, though. But I don't use this one. I used to use this a lot when I first got it, which is why I've used, like, two-thirds of it. I don't use it as much now. Um, I do like it. I think it moisturizes well, but I think it gives me a little bit more buildup than the the Cantu Shea Butter. So I'll probably use this after like freshly washed hair when I don't have like any product in it. I wouldn't use this on like second or third or fourth day hair just because it's gonna build up easier and then start flaking more on your leave residue behind. And then my favorite moisturizer is actually water. <laughs> um, so I just have the spray bottle. I probably like wet my hair I mean five or six times a day um not a day sorry <laughs> five or six times a week okay so when I do my nighttime routine when I wake up in the morning nine times out of ten I just missed the back of my hair like right here and then I missed this part right here just because it's shorter and it gets matted and the curl definition isn't as strong um or as defined as the rest of my hair. So I use water. Um, I used to use the Aussie leave-in conditioner a lot for that. And I've tried other like curl refreshers and you know, they say they can give you like um, second, third day hair without needing to wash your hair. Or I actually find that water does a better job. Um, it's not gonna build up. This is gonna moisturize my hair. I have dry hair, so it needs as much as this as possible. And it's not sticky, and my hair loves this. Yeah, so drink up, spray up, fill up, whatever. Um, yeah, so now on to what stylers I use. So I will most likely, if I'm doing my hair from beginning to end, completely new, fresh hair. I'm gonna wash it, I'm going to condition it. I may use a leave-in. If I use a leave-in, then I don't use one of those moisturizers. Like, if I use the Kinky Curly, I'm not gonna use an additional moisturizer because that's gonna give me enough um, hydration. But I will always need a styler. I cannot just do the conditioner or, um, sorry. I can't do the just conditioner or like moisturizer routine because I have a ton of hair and it already gets big on its own and if I don't use some type of styler to control the the curl or at least weigh it down a little bit it will be like up to here and then where I live is extremely humid during the summer and that's that just wouldn't be a good look so my favorite um stylers are I'll go with the we'll start with the least expensive and that is the eco styler and this is the olive oil one they also have one thing that has like argan oil and then just a plain um, clear one also but I got this from Sally's I think this huge 32 fluid ounce jar was probably like five maybe six dollars very inexpensive and this has maximum hole of 10 which sounds scary you would think it would leave you with like crunchy mousse ramen noodle hair but it doesn't. So first thing is that it smells pleasant. And then it's not a very, like it's sticky, but it's not very sticky. You don't want to use too much because then you probably will start to get built up in the scalp. But I like using this because it doesn't leave my hair really hard. If I put a ton of it in, it would. Um, but then I can just like scrunch with my fingers or take like some type of oil and scrunch it and it'll be fine. But it gives me... Um, Let's see, maximum hole, holds down the frizz. I don't really have any issues with the Eco Styler gel. Yeah, sorry if I got a whisper there. Okay, so my second favorite, I don't know, it's a tie between these two, so I'm just gonna grab this first one here. This is Miss Jessie's Quick Curls. This is more of a cream styler. So it's white, if you can see it popping up there. There we go. 
it's just like a white cream. It's not very thick either. Um, not very sticky, really creamy. This smells really good to me, but it has like a strange smell that I feel that a lot of people might not like. It's kind of like, it kind of smells like a lemon peppermint. I don't know, I suck at describing smells, so I'm sure somebody will be like, and it doesn't smell anything like that. But I like this because it's a, this is a lot lighter of a hold. So if you don't, the Eco Styler is like a, a heavier styler. Um, so if you have shorter hair, you might want to use the quick curls. If you like a lot of volume, you probably want to use this. This does really define curls for me, like, like coils <laughs> of curls and it's lightweight and it has a lot of like, um, natural abstracts in it, like grape seed, grape, grape seed, grape seed extract, needle extract, um, alfalfa extract, lavender, fennel fruit, ginger root. Maybe that's what the smell is, a little bit of ginger. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, but I really like that one. I don't get flaking, flaking or build up with this one either. My gripe with this is that this little tube is $32. Yeah, so you can see why I'm going to use the Eco Styler a lot more often than I'm going to use this. I'll use this on like fresh, fresh hair. Now, what I've been using mostly, like daily recently, has been the um, TG Catwalk Curls Rock Cream. So this is just a curl amplifier cream. I've included this in the favorites also. And it comes in a little pump like this. And this is a white cream also, so you can see it there. Why is it like, it's like hard pump. Phone. Maybe they, oh, I'm such an idiot. They put that in there. Ha <laughs> ha I guess they put that in there for the product to not leak out. I was like, why does it look like foam? Anyway, the actual product looks like, oh, come on, don't be like this. Push it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I pushed it. Anyway. Whoa, whoa. So yeah, this looks like a white cream like that. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see it there. This one's a little sticky. Probably a little bit more sticky than the curls, the quick curls. I just wiped that all on my mouth. What am I doing? This is, um... This one smells really good too. So I like this product a lot. This gives me like super defined curls plus like a lot of hole. So the quick curls gives me more defined curls and it gives me hole. And the eco styler gives me more hole than it gives me for defined curls, okay? So I would use like a moisturizer or leave-in that gave me like a lot of definition and then use this. Um, yeah, but this gives me like best of both worlds. I love the smell. Um, I use this if I want to, if I definitely am trying to achieve second or third day hair, I will use this because it's going to give me like the most definition and the most hold. Um, a little bit of this goes a long way. I probably could do two pumps on each side of my head and that would give me all the hold that I need. But I will say that this product is expensive also. There's only four ounces in here. This sells for $13, but Target recently, um, I've been in there and they're doing buy one, get one free. So in a package of two, um, you only pay the $13.99. So it's not as bad. For eight ounces, you get $14. So it's still cheaper than the Miss Jessie's and um, a little bit more expensive than the Eco Styler. But yeah, I'm talking way too much. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I really like that. And then lastly, I will quickly run through um, deep conditioners. I only have two, and I will tell you right now, I do not deep condition my hair regularly. I probably do it when I remember to do it, which is like once every three or four months. I don't know. It's just something about it that I just cannot remember to do. It's probably because I'm too lazy. And I don't want to have to like wet my hair, put it in there, because I get better results when I wet my hair and then deep condition it than just applying it to dry hair. Um, but the first one I have is the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask, which is a sister product of the Shea Moisture Smoothie. 
This one, I hate the smell of it. I don't know what it is, but I hate it. But it looks pretty much the same as the smoothie. It's a lot thicker. Um, so I would just put this on wet hair, leave it on 20 minutes to an hour, and then wash it out. It's okay. Um, it has sea kelp, argan oil, and shea butter, which are just supposed to um, detoxify, restore shine, deeply moisturize, and give your hair a lot of elasticity, I guess, to help the curl bounce back. Um, but it's okay. And then I picked this next one up just because it's like a cult favorite and not very expensive, so I wanted to try it. This is Ozzy's 3-Minute Miracle, which I really liked this one when I used it. I did find that my hair was super duper soft when I used it. The only thing with deep conditioners is that once I like rinse them out, my hair isn't really any more soft than it normally is. So I guess that's the reason why I don't really use them that often. While they're in my hair, they are super, super soft. But when I rinse it out, I mean, I guess it's, you know, more moisturized and there's no harm, no foul for using them. So yeah. And then the two, I guess, pretty much main or only products I use when I straighten my hair um, or while I'm wearing it straight is whenever I do use heat, I use the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. This is the only heat tamer spray that I have ever tried, so I don't have anything to compare it to. However, I do really like it. It smells good. It's not very expensive. I've had this for over a year, and I'm probably like halfway done with it. Um, and it does keep my hair from getting burned. It doesn't. My hair does not smell like it's burned at all. And so, yeah, maybe I'll try another one when I run out with that one. Run out of that one. And then the only product, other product that I'll use in my hair when it's straight is the Garnier Fructis Anti-Shine Serum. I like this because I like serums opposed to greases. Um, yeah, that's what we call them. <laughs> I used to use like, you know, greases or whatever, castor oil when I was like younger, but they weigh my hair down a lot. And then they have a tendency to make your hair super duper oily. So if you have oil control problems in with your hair, you don't want to use one of those. But this is extremely lightweight. I like the smell of it, um, and it's really slippery. Uh, I apply it probably mostly like down to here, and then I'll just run the excess through here um, for the rest of my hair. But if my hair is looking parched, I will use that. I have used like argan oil, Moroccan oil in the past, but this is cheaper. I mean, it's more readily available, and I don't mind the results of it. Yeah. So, um, that's pretty, pretty much everything, and I say that like it wasn't a ton of products, but those are all the products I used. I've shown you what, um, like a mini short review of everything. So, I hope that video was helpful. If you have any other questions, then feel free to leave me a comment below, and also let me know what some of your, um, hair care, your favorite hair care products are, whether it's for curly hair, straight hair, natural hair, whatever. Um, just let me know because I love trying new things. All right. Um, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in a later video. Bye.